Hey, Jackie, how's it going? Hey, good. How are you? I'm doing well. It's great to see you today. Thank you so much for uh, joining us in getting ready for our Bushwick Book Club show coming up on June 3rd. We're so thrilled that you're coming out and performing for William Least Heat Moon's uh, Blue Highways. Um, are you pointing to the book? It's right there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Can you tell me what what inspired or like what prompted you to to want to write for this show? Um, yeah, they send out the list of books every season, and uh, I saw it on the list, and I, I instantly wrote Wes back. This book has shaped my life. Uh, that is not an understatement. It changed my life. I've spent a lot of time on the road as a musician, obviously, uh, in my younger years, but also even recently through the pandemic. In fact, the picture for the promo is us in front of me, in front of the RV that we slept in, slept oh my in gosh. for two years. Um, so I've spent a lot of time on the roads. In fact, our RV stint was on a big blue highway in um, Morton, Glenoma, Mossy Rock, Washington, if you know where those places are. And, um, I don't know. I just, I've, I've been really touched by the ideas in this book that when you travel, the idea is to collect the stories, right? So it was my first real touch with stories and storytelling. And now I'm a folk musician with, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, changed my life. This book has really changed my life. That's amazing. How, um, how long ago did you read it for the first time? Uh, I was maybe 20. Okay. Fashionable young out in New Orleans, you know. <laughs> okay. Wow. And had you read it since then or just the first time? And then like, how many times have you read it? Yeah. Like snippets. Yeah. I didn't reread the whole thing this time. I read snippets, right? Because okay. I, I had a feeling already I knew what I was looking for okay. for this song. So, um, but yeah, I've, I've definitely, I read the whole thing once and then sometimes oh. I'll be in an area and I'll be like, oh, wait, like, wasn't he here or around here? And I'll go back and check it out. So, yeah. Oh, cool. So when you started writing your song for this, you mentioned you didn't necessarily reread the whole book, but you already knew like <laughs> parts of the book or places in the book that you wanted your song to be inspired from. Can you um, tell us about that or what, um, where your song came from? This was, it was hard. This was a hard choice for me because I, I wanted to write a, really good and I'm still kind of tossing around some good like travel or like living on the road songs um but I was I wasn't really feeling writing like a on the road again I, I just wasn't feeling <laughs> it this time um I I collect this is gonna be really weird I collect morbid creepy stories and songs I have, I usually in October, I do at least one big show of murder ballads, songs about ghosts and monsters. So year round, I'm always looking for more like real. It's usually I try and find real stories that happen um, of hauntings or ghosts or things that I can write about. And that's kind of what I was looking for. And I found one really early on. It was like section two, chapter two. There's a story of a woman who uh, went out in North Carolina <laughs> and was like beating her rugs out in the woods and her her baby was out there with her and was hiding in the rug and she accidentally killed her baby. Um, and then she ran out of the woods and got a sheet and came back into the woods, tied herself to a tree and the men cut her down later and left the sheet hanging and they were freaked out by it forever, right? So I decided that's morbid and terrible, but I decided that was where the song was coming from. And I actually have reached out to the library system out there to see if there's any more information. So I'm kind of still waiting to hear back. Uh, on, not all the lyrics are written yet. <laughs> Sorry, and that wasn't, you said that was in South Carolina? North Carolina. And, so you reached out to the, and you reached out to the libraries out there to yeah. see if Wow, that is very cool. Yeah. So your song is still like in progress and you're waiting for kind of the more final stories. Yeah, I, I have like a good chunk of it kind of done, but I just want to see if there's any more information, you know, any more context, because I couldn't find anything online 
Um, and the librarian wrote me back instantly and was like, I'm all here for the dark and weird. Let me see what I can find. <laughs> I like so it. she's <laughs> looking it up. Yeah. That we'll is see. awesome. Wow. Okay. So intriguing. I cannot wait to hear this song. Are you um, prepared or willing to like share a little, a little snippet, a little teaser for us yeah. today? So the thing about it was when I'm, when I write these songs, I really, my goal is to, at the end of the song, have people go, Oh, you know, um, and I sang what I have right now to my partner and he went, Oh, so I was like, yay, I did it. Uh, accomplished. <laughs> but I'm not going to sing the whole thing to you now because okay. yes. it would ruin that, right? Totally. We want to save that moment for the show. Yeah. So uh, I don't know totally like what instrument I'm going to play or anything like that uh, for this yet, but this is my little acoustic bass um, that somebody donated to our music school and we're still holding on to it. Um, but I'm going to sing. So the vibe I'm going for is like, like a drone. Ooh, okay. I want a lot of echo on my voice. So it sounds like I'm haunting because I'm singing from the woman's perspective, right? So um, it's literally just going to be the drones of whatever instrument I'm working on. And I'm considering doing some fancy stuff, but I might not get there. We'll see. Um, I shouldn't say that because I'm in an interview. And if I say I'm doing <laughs> something, then I'm committing to it. So I'm holding you to it, Jackie. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Um, so this is like in the middle. So one thing that it said in the book was that while she was beating her rug, she was annoyed at her kid that like she had maybe put some raspberries in the rug. And as she was beating the rug with a stick, she thought that she was pulling out like raspberries and it was, it was not yeah. yeah, so it's dark. I be my rug so red, were there berries? In my rug, I be my rug red, the color of blood. I pray in the woods as I turn the rug down. I see my daughter in the rug. Red. That's not even the end. That kind of makes you go ick though too, huh? Yeah, totally does. Ooh. <laughs> well, Jackie, that was very haunting. I cannot wait to hear the whole thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and if you're watching this right now, you should also come to our show so you can hear the final uh, haunting. <laughs> that uh jackie comes up with uh next <laughs> saturday june 3rd at town hall seattle um all original music inspired by william least heat moon's uh blue highways and you can get tickets uh following the link from our instagram facebook go to our website get tickets tell your friends come get spooked by jackie uh <laughs> And it'll be a great time. Thank you so much, Jackie. Yeah. This is so fun. I can't wait to hear your song. Thank you. Thank you.